Hey guys, what's up? It's Christian here again, and you may have noticed a slight increase in quality. I just got this camera. It's a Canon G7X. I'm going to be using it for video logs from here on out. Wow, this looks so much better than uh, messing around with my cell phone. So anyways, today uh, got a lot on the table, actually. And first things first, um, I am headed to an Olive Garden all-you-can-eat um, late lunch with my friend Michael Bradley, who, uh, he's a, a DJ slash producer who makes um, music off of Game Boys. And so I am leaving right now to go meet him outside. And we are going to go to Olive Garden. And there'll probably be nobody else there because people suck and they don't respond to my Facebook event invites. But, uh, so yeah, I'm headed out of my apartment now. I'm gonna go say hi to him and eat some breadsticks. So, and then later we're headed over to Q Night Club and we have Mark Knight in the building and that should be a fun time as well. So, stay tuned. Dude, it is so nice out. I know. Do you want to be in my video log? Yeah! <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a YouTube channel yet? Uh, yeah, it's probably like Boa Constructor. What, what, is that your channel, Boa Constructor? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've uploaded anything. <laughs> You should. We're trying to convince uh, Michael, my friend here, to uh, <laughs> to start uploading videos to his channel because he makes really dope music from uh, from Game Boys. So use Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I'm gonna live this. <laughs> Nano Loop is yeah. the software. It's no big deal, but uh, it's, it's hard. But I'm good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's really good at it. He like uh, flies all over the fucking country. Fucking OG. No so. one cares. <laughs> Everybody cares, <laughs> I think. Not here. But we're gonna go to Olive Garden. All of Garden. <laughs> Only the finest. <laughs> and have some breadsticks. So mm. tag along, we'll have some fun. It's yeah, after playing that fucking convention man, I'm just like, alright, I gotta release some music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How many people were there? Uh, I played for like four thousand people. What? Yeah. You played for four thousand people. Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all downhill from here. <laughs> I can't You plateaued. I, I did, like way too early too. And I guess it's time for a computer. <laughs> you got paid though, right? Oh, I mean, they they like took care of everything right. and I got fed and so like, I mean, you know, if I had slept outside, I would have made money, but <laughs> instead I had a hotel and what was Is it a convention center? Uh, yeah, it's like a gigantic hotel slash convention center. What? So the Game Boy has its built-in synthesizer for and that's how they save memory on not having actual music files, right? Uh, let's see. Okay. Is that how it works? Uh, there, like... there is a sound chip inside of the Game Boy, and like, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they like, they like program for for games and shit. They like program it to a cartridge, and you know, it plays along right. with the game. But like, with with what I do, it's just a, it's like a, it's a four-channel step sequencer uh, that has. Um, which way do I go? <laughs> I'll go right. All the synthesis capabilities that the sound card is capable of inside the Game Boy. The GBA has a 16-bit processor and therefore is a uh, capable of emulating FM synthesis. And wow. um, yeah, like when, when you start to get kind of like a little deeper into that, that's where you get like uh, real big sounds and shit. No, that too. I've always wanted to have a fucking, and this is so silly, but like it's a dream of mine to do a public access TV show someday. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. See, I want to be, when I'm like old and like completely done with everything I want to do in life, I want to be a woodshop teacher. Hell yeah. Teacher. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, I, I, that's what I want to do. Like, yeah, that my, my similar aspiration is to uh, work overnight at a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> One time I met this really, really friendly, real old man at a gas station uh, <laughs> who sold us blunt wraps and shit, and he was just stoked. Like, he loved his life, and like, Sick. he was working at a shell station at three in the morning, and he was happy. And like, yeah. I was like, I wanna be you, guy. Oh my god, I hope the wait isn't long. <laughs> I don't wanna get, <laughs> I don't wanna get put on a list. This guy's waiting. Oh, man. So hyped. Sick. This is total. This is fifteen dollars an hour minimum wage. You're looking at it right now. 
Uh, all of this is new. this whole menu is new. It's three breadsticks. You know, we're in. We truly are in desperate times. These times, they are a changing. I remember they used to come with like there's like eight. Oh, a stack, yeah. Like total stack. And why do they always give you an odd number when you're with people? That is like not odd number. Like they should give us four. They're trying to start fights. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, Olive Garden. Bye. Just woke up from a food coma that I didn't expect. Um, Olive Garden was way better than I remember, to be honest. I've been there in like three years, so I was pleasantly surprised, actually. Just uh, getting into the car now. Going to head up to the club and uh, get ready for Mark Knight. All right, finally back in Seattle. Headed to the club still. It's only like about a 15 minute drive from my uh, apartment, but still get, it's just slightly annoying. It's just slightly a long enough drive to be annoying. I used to live, uh, and there's some videos on my channel of me in my old apartment. I used to live like right at this intersection coming up right here. Yeah, so I used to live in this apartment building right here. But you know what, the rent got increased, so I just decided instead of complaining about the rent to just move to a nicer apartment that costs less and is only 15 minutes away. What you're looking at here is my Surface Pro that is running London Architect. It's the software that controls the back end of our sound system. So as you just saw, we had Mark Knight, and he is like, I talked to him a little bit after his set and after we kind of shut everything down, and he is like one of the smartest, most aware DJs that I know of. I talked I talked uh, to him about the new CDJs that I just got, and he asked me a bunch of questions about it, all sorts of stuff like that. So that was really cool. Um, we you know talked about his perfect mixer and you know, what he would like to see in, in future gear, stuff like that. And he just knows so much and he's like, he's like 42 years old, I think he said. And like we were, we there's like a, a whole like group of people crowded around him at the end of the night. And we were all just totally enamored with him.
Hey, thanks so much for watching my vlog. If you found it interesting, leave a like down below and maybe give a comment and tell me what you'd like to see in future episodes. And if you go ahead and click on the upper right corner of this video, it'll take you to a whole nother video. And finally, don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below and check out my social media links in the description to stay updated on everything that I'm doing. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.